71. Jesus is risen, let us sing. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Sule Mass on the fifth Sunday of Easter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins and ask God mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to offer this sacrifice. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your, pro your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. Then Barnabas took charge of him, and brought him to the apostles. And he reported to them how he had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with them in Jerusalem, and spoke out boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and debated with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they could, took him down to Caesarea and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord, and with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in numbers. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Response, I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear the Lord. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts live forever. 
All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. Behold, for him shall bend all who go down into the dust. And to him my soul shall live. My descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn, for God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us. The word of the Lord. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own, unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. And if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, through his uh, letter and the gospel, St. John is uh, helping us understand the love of God, of course, in a uh, bit different way. We all know about love of God. We know God loves us, and we also know we need to love God. But how? The John's approach is a bit different. God is love. God loves you. And you come to know that God loves you. But you realize the love of God, your experience of the love of God, love, love of God should not stop in you. It should continue. So you become part of the chain that starts from God, goes through you to others. 
That is the approach. So when we say, I love God, it's not John, according to John, it's not that I love God directly, but more than that, of course we have to love God, but more than that, through others, through our brothers and sisters, through them, by loving them, we are loving God. So that's the, so what is knowledge according to, or how to, how do we say we know God? In this context, when we say I know God means I experience his love. I believe that I am loved by God. That's the meaning when I say I know God means I know that he loves me and I experience it. How do we become partners of God? Of course, as we mentioned earlier, that we don't stop it there. We make sure that his love comes to me and that doesn't stay there, it goes out to others. It goes all the way and then from there it goes back to God. And you may ask why? The reason is everyone created is in God's image and likeness. Every baptized is his sons and daughters. And therefore, when we love others, we are loving the God hiding in others or living in others. So the only commandment in this regard John is giving is, of course, believe in Jesus. But more than that, or the better way of believing in Jesus is, the commandment is, share the joy of God's love with others. Share the joy of God's love with others. And how do we share? Loving others. And of course the gospel passage is taking us completely into that. The example of uh, the wine, grape wine. If it were today, he would have probably used our computers, the network. Because in his time, the most common networking reality was the grape wine. That's what he uses. It's all connected. It starts somewhere and then goes all the way, but still connected. In our time, of course, more the network or the internet, they are all connected. What happens there? Because that connection, it's all connected. It from God to me, from me to somebody. So it's all, and then from that one to God. So it's all connected. That's how the love of God works or should work in our world. So based on that, many a time we think, God is a dictator, or God is a one who punishes us. So what, how do we understand God in this context? What should be the proper approach? Or how do we understand Jesus? Sometimes we think Jesus is the master and we are the slaves. The proper understanding based on the New Testament revealed through Jesus Christ is his father is not the uh, punishing machine. His father is our father. His father is our father. And how do we understand Jesus? Jesus is not just the master and we are the slaves. It is different. The proper understanding is Jesus is our friend. Why? Because he said clearly it is always good to lay down one's life for his friends. He laid down his life for us. Therefore, we are not his slaves, but we are his friends. Plus, his father in heaven, he shared his love or his father's love with us. Or in other words, making us his father's children in him. I think we have to look into Jesus, look into our father in heaven, in this new perspective revealed to us through John. God loves us. That love goes from us to others. It goes back to God. It's a chain of love. We believe God loves us. And because we believe it, we make sure that we share the love of God with others. God is our Father. Jesus is simply our brother.
let us proclaim our faith i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess with baptism for the forgiveness of sins to look forward to the resurrection of the dead the life of the world to come amen we thank our mighty god for giving us jesus our brother and we ask him to give us the grace so that we may continue to see him in others that the church may continue to make jesus known to the world through words of hope and works of love we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that world leaders may cooperate with one another in an effort to seek peace and prosperity for all we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that bishops and priests may never fail to proclaim the gospel even in the face of adversity or trial we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that our love may express itself in concrete actions of visiting the sick feeding the hungry and protecting the unborn we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that each member of our parish community may realize their call to stewardship and generously cooperate through sharing time talent and treasure we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that those who live in christ and followed his commandments in this life may be part of god's harvest of souls on the last day we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for andrew and loreen valmert for whom this holy mass is being offered we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer let us offer our own prayers we fly to thy protection o holy mother of god do not despise our petitions and our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers o glorious and blessed virgin Blessed are Lord God of all creation for thy goodness we have received the bread we offer you through the vine through the earth and work of human hands you bring for us the bread of life Blessed are Lord God of all creation for thy goodness we have received the wine we offer you for the divine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink pray for this and sister is my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father Amen. 
who God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray that, as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty of salvation at all times to acclaim your Lord, but in this time, above all, to Lord yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the hosts of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together, the enemy hymn of your glory, as they are played. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, You are indeed holy and old, the fount of all holiness. Made holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending out a spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was said, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your health is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, the Lord, your church spread toward the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who please to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for my divine mission, we are to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Apostles, peace, I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your way, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 486, 486. Him will be number 375, 375.
let us pray. Graciously we present your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, Patriotic Grassery at St. Lawrence, Monday, May 3rd at 7 p.m., Adoration, Tuesday at 6 p.m., and uh, we welcome Brett Holtmeyer and Jennifer Olichlager uh, as our new parish council members. And our special thanks to Rita Bushost and Kim Plasmeyer for their service to our parish. So welcome and uh, thank you. We have some. Yeah. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, all the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. Our closing hymn is number 425. 425.